Hey folks, what's up? Welcome back to another Pump Master video. So tonight, we're gonna have Rock finally, and Star Raptor, uh, drop in the game, right? So as usual, uh, like we do every single night, uh, we're gonna be summoning on the banner live, so make sure y'all, uh, tune in to the summon stream. Uh, so have notifications on, subscribe, all that stuff, and, uh, hopefully it's gonna be much better than the Alistair one. <laughs> the Alistair one was, like, terrible, but it wasn't, it was not the best either. So, anyways, uh, let's talk about Dragon and Star Raptor over here. So, Dragon and Star Raptor, it's a tech unit, right? It's a tech, uh, flying nuker, right? So, it's mainly, again, mainly a nuker, sink nuker, that also could do some damage, right? Some DPS, right? If you could get all the multipliers, but the thing is, the multipliers are kinda iffy. On this unit right so you have good speed pretty average attack really good HP but then again it's a recoil unit recoil units always have higher HP right brave bird 25% but you do have stand fast 7 which helps a lot um, in mitigating the uh, recoil stuff outside of that you have attack down right um, so feather dance which debuffs the opponents you know attack by two and then ripple effect or ripple effects to your uh, whole opponent's team right so it's an aoe attack uh minus two which is uh pretty nice to have right uh and then you have defog over here um which is i think our second defog unit after altaria right real defog unit um which clears the terrain uh field effects all that stuff and then yeah uh lowers the opponent's evasion by one and then your train move which is actually pretty nice if it wasn't <laughs> Just one MP that gives you plus three attack and then plus three speed for your whole team and then gradual healing to yourself, right? The attack is only for yourself, but the speed is for your whole team. Unfortunately, it's only one MP, it's, so it's not like Incineroar where you could, boom, you can max out your whole team's speed, which is what Incineroar are so good, right? And uh, Drak, uh, not, you know, not as good. <laughs> so... Um, yeah, basically it's pretty, um, straightforward flying type sink nuker, obviously we have, uh, we also have another flying type tech nuker, right, in, um, Skyla Kiss, right, so not the only one over here, right, Holiday Skyla, so, there's that, right, you also have power posture, which gives you extra 30% if you have the opponent at minus 6, uh, physical attack, and then your nuke over here is, um, you know, the more the opponent's attack is lower, the more it powers up your sink nuke up to, you know, two times, right, so that is the, I guess the base, uh, you know, basic kit for Dragon Star. But he is going to be on a spotlight banner. I generally don't have that high of an opinion on Dragon Star after as an overall unit, but I do think he's a very, very going to be a very, very fun unit to play with, right? Um, like, like meta wise, not going to be anything crazy, but you know, it should definitely be good enough as a flying type damage dealer to clear at least, you know, flying weak mass modes and stuff, right? Or flying weak, um, legendary knows if they come out with those, probably should destroy it. Uh, there are a few issues with this, um, unit, right? Um, well, quite a few, <laughs> but uh, one of them being the, the, the multipliers are slightly awkward if you have them three out of five, right? If you want like the full nuke, uh, but you also don't really have to go for that. and. I think a lot of times it's probably better to give up on his max damage and just go for a better team comp, right? Um, so, uh, again, because uh, to get his max damage, you need to debuff the opponent's evasion, and debuffing evasion is incredibly hard <laughs> in masses because there's not that many great uh, evasion debuffers, right? Uh, it's probably the hardest stat to debuff, honestly, right? And in masters, maybe crit might be a bit harder to debuff. <laughs> But uh, you don't you don't go to negative with crit, so at least there's like snatch units and all that stuff that, that could do that. But anyways, uh, that aside, um, it's a spotlight banner, so it's gonna be in the general pool, right? So there's no hurry in getting him. But if you do get him, uh, again, he's a solid flying type damage healer, right? So going into the grid, right, in terms of how many copies you probably would want from him, right? Um, he's functional at 1 out of 5, but obviously not very powerful at 1 out of 5. So, at 1 out of 5, you you basically have nothing for the grid. Like, you have some, like, good stat nodes. Like, there's speed plus 20 here, attack plus 10, attack plus 5, speed plus 5, attack plus 5, another speed plus 5, speed plus 5, right? But outside of that, like, you know, you have some Brave Bird power-ups, but, like, um, there's nothing outside of that. So, um, you know, you know when I'm talking about, like, stat buffing nodes, uh, the grid is down, you know, pretty down bad, right? 
but at two out of five, you actually do get some good stuff. A uh, big one being pecking order in the bottom right over here, right? So that's an extra, you know, 100% uh, up on your sync move. Uh, multiplier, which again, it's relatively easy to get the opponent to uh, minus six uh, physical attack, right? With Feather Dance, right? It also gets AoE'd with Ripple Effect. Not that, you know, maybe sync them, but still, right? So that's uh, that's nice. Pep Rally's okay. You have the MPR on your trainer move, but then again, it's only an MPR two on an only one MP trainer move. So good luck getting that to activate, <laughs> right? So uh, Brave Bird move gauge refresh, which is nice. Um,. What else? Uh, NPR on defog. But like your the evasion debuff stuff doesn't really come in until 3 out of 5. So you really don't have to worry much about 3 out of 5. Or, or, or uh, evasion debuff stuff uh, until 3 out of 5, right? So um, yeah, that's that's the big, I guess most of the big things. Terrifies, whatever. Uh, most of the big things that you get at 2 out of 5. And then at 3 out of 5 is where you get the rest of the multipliers. 3 out of 5 is where uh using Turok starts to get annoying but uh, it's his max damage potential right because you have easy target over here which is basically pecking order before evasion again evasion very very hard to lower you probably would have to run altari on your team as well right um which makes a more very very clunky team overall right um you have some other stuff like uh way down four um which a uh, 50% chance of debuffing the opponent's uh, evasion, uh, or all of them, right? Of all opposing uh, sync pairs when you use a move, obviously, uh, it's not very reliable, right? I have a 50% is not bad, but like you don't you don't want to spend like too many turns setting up your sync nukes generally, right? Uh, then you got some other stuff. You got first aid, which is nice, just because you're a recoil unit. But again, I don't really think it should be that big of a deal since you have gradual healing anyways, right? And then stand fast seven. If you want to pick up stand fast, and, uh, stand fast five as well, you know you should be in pretty good shape in terms of the um the 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 the, the recoil stuff, right? You have feather dance slow mo nine, which debuffs the opponent's speed every time um, you use feather, uh, you know feather dance, which is not. Bad, although the slight awkward part is you can only debuff to minus three because um, you have to make the move successful, right, for it to trigger. And once you get it to like get the opponent to like minus six, well, I guess technically you could do it more if they like buff their attacks, right? But if they don't buff their attacks, it's just down to minus six, and you can only cap out at minus three speed over here, or speed debuff. Um, powerful X3 is okay it does cost you 10 energy though so i'm not sure if it's really worth it um then you got like stuff like wide open which uh 30 percent with the i mean if you're running easy target anyways you might as well pick up wide open right i mean much better than stuff like power flux so yeah um him at one 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 copies two copies three copies are all solid right if you're trying to go for him uh although again i would suggest you know especially if you are free to play probably not to go for him because he's not you know fantastic or whatever right uh in terms of the damage calcs right um that we did in the data mine analysis uh doc right uh on reddit cord um his dps again is not great right definitely not great and his sync nuke is really good right but again do keep in mind the sync nuke setup is a uh, sync nuke setup is is there are some you know trade-offs right to get this high of a sync nuke you do have to go and then like run something like an altaria on your team which doesn't really contribute that much else to your team other than trying to set up uh drock which is uh slightly um you know it does not go for a very very great team comp so there are decisions there to be made you know do i want to go for the max sync nuke or do i want a more flexible team comp that could you know give us a bit more dps right over here um, obviously you can't compare this to like Annie Steven or whatever, um, in terms of like, you know, damage potential, all that stuff. This is only 24 buffs, so obviously Annie Steven's damage should be much, much, much higher. Um, with, uh, you know, better buffs and Tikamas, but whatever, that's what they decided to compare it as. Um, but as you can see over here, Holiday Skyla basically beats them out on like everything, right? Uh, DPS-wise, Holiday Skyla beats them out on that. Flying nuke wise, Holiday Skyla also beats him out on that. Also, the great thing about Holiday Skyla is Holiday Skyla has better comps, right? I just think, uh, you know, overall, um, it's just, well, I wouldn't say better, but definitely easier. Although you do need, you know, some RNG with, with, uh, Holiday Skyla because, um, well, Rising Tide, you definitely need, you know, um, decent amount of, uh, buffs over there, right? 
But uh, in general, I mean, flinch hitter, you need to flinch them, all that stuff. But I'd rather ju I'd rather just run Holiday Skyla, just because it's easier to run different comps for instead, right? Because because the you know the the, the max nuke for Skyla is not as limited as as, as um Durok's comp, right? Although I do think the tech stuff that Durok does is generally a bit more helpful, right? Than than Holiday Skyla's Hol again. Flinch outside of Legendary Arena, it's not bad, right? But it's also not anything crazy. Trad hack, the status from this is like basically you could ignore that because you don't know which one you're getting, right? Uh I guess Gift of Joy is really good, right? It does um uh you know, does give your team some random uh stat buffs, which is nice. Uh but but again, Falk uh not Falconer. <laughs> Drock does debuff um, you know, some some uh, does debuff attack, which is nice, I guess. Um, but overall, I'd say Sky, uh, Sky is probably, in most cases, a better fit for most teams, and also does have you know, higher damage cap, anyways. So, uh, yeah, Faulkner definitely, again, definitely not something you should probably just spend your gems on right now. I'd say probably save at the moment, right? Uh, we should be getting. I just, I, I'd assume we should be getting. Um, you know, rumors on what we're getting next month uh in about a week so if you guys do want to you know consider where you want to spend your gems whether it be on the Halloween banners or the um or the red and blue banners or whatever's coming next month you could still hold on to your gems right hold on to your gems we should be getting some uh info soon right so yeah definitely nothing on uh you know, don't spend gems on Duroc. again if you're a whale and you really really want a flying type damage dealer if you uh, you know uh, spend money on this game, then sure, um, you just, just want to have some fun. This is a fun unit, right? Not stopping there. Or if you're just a huge Drock slash Star Raptor fan, then sure, go for it, right? Uh, but otherwise, um, definitely not something necessary. And probably just better save up gems just just see what's coming up, right? Just see what's coming up. Uh, however, I will be <laughs> as usual summoning uh, when this drops. So again, stay tuned at reset uh, for that. And yeah, that's where this one, I guess. Uh, hope y'all enjoyed. Let me guys think in the comments down below. Like if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you are new to the channel for some more Pro Mouse's content. And notifications on to get all the videos and stuff. Follow me on Twitter for um, no reason at all. And uh, join the Discord server if you guys want to, you know, talk Pro Mouse's stuff. Also, if you guys want um, your names shouted out on the, on on you know on on the videos and stuff, right? the bottom bar you guys could join the member thing on the channel support the channel and uh get some member shout outs all that stuff cool emojis badges all that stuff and i'll see you guys in the next one